Hello. I believe I'm live. I hope um I hope you all can hear me because I'm trying new um microphone this. Just want to post this link. Hello. Let me know that you can hear me, okay? Hold on. Whoops. Just gonna turn that up a little bit. Hopefully uh, everyone can hear me okay. <laughs> I just wanna post this link to Twitter quick. Clap if you can hear me. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing awesome. Let me know how you're doing. How are you doing? Okay, you can hear me. Awesome. So, um, you know, in today's lovely world of virtual um, everything, um, you know, we put out new videos every Thursday. Um, so that means um, I didn't finish editing one of our videos. And <laughs> also that, you know, my video editing program was not doing uh, its job today. So I got frustrated and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go live and say hi to everyone and hope you're all doing good in this whole fun visual, um, visual virtual fun times. So yeah, uh, this pro I'm actually kneeling right now, but it probably looks like I have like this huge space, but um, it's not. <laughs> Is it the camera shaking? Hopefully it stopped shaking because I was like on the floor moving things. Hopefully that um, that helped it. Trying to adjust adjust things accordingly. <laughs> um, so this is uh, my little uh, studio corner. I like to call when I get put in the corner. Um, and this is where um, I've been doing any uh, writing or practicing or any type of musical things. Trying to figure things out. Um, trying to figure out new gear and things like that. So I'm going to show you some of the gear that I've been using. Um, also, I wonder, I forget what the, uh, um, I'm using an external webcam. So if things are shaking, I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but the microphone I'm using is this uh, Yeti. It's by Blue Microphone, even though it's red, but I had to get the black and red because, you know, everything I have is black and red. And, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that is my uh, one piece of gear I really like using. Um, I use it for all of our live streams. Um, I've used it for um, some vocal recording that we've been doing here at home, and I've used it just through GarageBand, and it sounds pretty great on its own. Um, we've used it for some podcasts and things like that. Um, it's a great overall microphone. I really like it. Um, on the back, it actually has um, settings where you can change what type of microphone it is if you want it to be directional or, you know, just capture all the sound around you. I'm not going to go into great detail about it because I'm not sure of all of the technical terms. <laughs> um, but it does have four options to um, change the type of microphone. Um, which is very useful for when uh, we are doing things together. We can change it, change the direction of where it's capturing the sound. Um, hello, everyone in the chat. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm also drinking a uh, fun cold brew in my in my Wonder Woman mug, which is another uh, staple for me. Um, for video editing, I've been using um, Adobe Premiere. Um, I just didn't want to export today or be friendly with me, so I got frustrated and I gave up and decided to come live today, which is cool. So I um, get to talk to you guys live, and if you have any questions about any gear or anything that um, I'm using or any of the, the band girls are using, uh, I will try to tell you <laughs> um, what they have at home. Um, Roxy's a little more complex with audio stuff. She's very good at that. So she's been, uh, uh, 
I guess honing in on her on her craft there um, with that type of stuff. I know she uses Pro Tools um, for audio editing. Other than that, I'm really not sure, but she got a lot. She has a lot of recording and audio gear type things. <laughs> yeah. So, what camera do I use for live streaming? So currently, I'm using a um, I'm using an external webcam which goes in through USB, and I believe it's called a Venture. Um, I could just look that look that up quick so I can tell you the actual um, name. Yes. Yeah. Um, I got it on Amazon. It is a, I don't know, like it came up when I typed the name of it in, but now it's like not saying, but um, it's a pretty, um, it was only like 30 bucks, but it just enhances the uh, video quality a lot, um, even though it's not like the best one, but it's just like simple. It just plugs in and works right away. The um, audio on it as well is actually pretty good. So if you don't want to also get an external microphone, because um, once you start, um, I'm already using both of my USBs right now. So I also have a lot of adapters um, in, let's see if I can do this without dropping everything. This is my, which I have to organize, my adapter cables basket, which I could kind of go through if you want. But um, this is a USB to two more USBs because you're going to run out of them on your computer. Um, I only have two on mine and I have a, you know, a MacBook. Um, so I have a bunch of uh, HDMI cables. I think this is for the new iPhone, which I don't have, so I don't know why. Um, a lot of micro micro USBs. I think this is just a bag of um, oh, this is Ethernet cables, which I had. I also got a um, Ethernet port um, adapter because our new Macs do not let you use Ethernet anymore. So I got the lightning bolt um, plug-in to an Ethernet um, converter. Uh, this is a uh, pop filter for the uh, microphone. Um, I have so many so many different cables in here. A lot of HDMI stuff. Um, you know, regular guitar cables. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's about that for that box. <laughs> but yeah, so gotten a lot of a lot of adapters. <laughs> And hello to our friends in uh, Devoted Fusion. How you doing? Do I still have the shark guitar? Yes, I do. I do have the shark guitar. I don't have it out right now because I wanted to take out my uh, bass that I use and um, stuff, but I do have it. <laughs> um, the problem with the shark guitar is very um, top heavy, so it's fine to kind of play sitting down. But it's um, if you're standing up with it, it literally just like starts tipping over. So. Um, there are like weights you can put on, um, like kind of some of the, um, like attached to a strap or something like that, but I haven't really gotten into that yet because it's just not on the, not on the, not on the list yet of like getting things. I mean, that's probably not a guitar I would play live I and mean, maybe for a music video we might use it, which would be fun. Uh, my favorite guitar I have is my... Um, Red Les Paul Studio, um, and also my uh, Yamaha acoustic, which I've been using for, this has been my main acoustic guitar I've been using. I didn't tune it today yet, but I think that sounded pretty good. Um, so this also um, can plug in, um, and yeah, just uh, so I've been using this for any of our live streams. Um, I do also have a Tim Armstrong signature acoustic, the first edition from Fender. Um, this is my <laughs> Fender Squire Jaguar Batman bass, I like to call it. This was a, and it's a short scale. Um, I really like it. It's like, I really want the short scale. Oh, hi, Roxy's in the chat with bananas. Thank you. Um, so this is what I call the Batman bass. 
it literally it came like this. Like this was an impulse buy. I went on Reverb and I was like, I literally Googled or you know searched on Reverb.com for a short scale bass, and this is the first thing that came up, and I bought it immediately. Um, it has some some red around the pick guards there, red knobs. Came with the bat, the bat signal here and on the headstock. Um, and I want the short scale because you know I'm tiny and it's easier to play. Um, it sounds pretty good just for like demo stuff that I'm, you know, recording and stuff. You know, I don't go out and play bass, so um, but it sounds good. Sounds great plugged in. Um, it's lightweight. It looks a lot bigger when you start doing this, but it is a short scale. Um, so it's not as tall as a, as a normal bass, which I didn't want because they're too big for me. <laughs> oh boy, I'm just trying to uh, neatly put things in places because I'm in a tight squeeze here, you know, in New York. You don't have a lot of space for things, so this is the uh, the corner of how you set up, you know, in like a studio apartment. If you're also looking for ideas like that, um, my next thing I've been using is my is this Yamaha amp. I believe it's a THR10. Um, they might have came out with a smaller one too, which I was looking into. I think it's a five. I don't know if they actually came out with it yet, which I was debating on getting it for, um, you know, touring. <laughs> Um, but you know, we're grounded. <laughs> um, this is a great amp. It's also a interface, I guess, kind of, um, because you could go directly from here, um, USB into your computer. Um, you download like a, I forget what it's called, but like a, pl a plugin, um, and it worked directly right into GarageBand and it sounds pretty great. The tones sound really good. It has um, it has effects on it and you're able to have it has a channel for for bass um, and then it has a different like a lead, a crunch, a clean um, in here. Um, it does have some effects like delay and reverb and things like that. So it's pretty it's pretty great and you could also um, plug headphones into here. You can also plug your phone into it so you could play along to songs, which is really good for um, playing along to any tracks or things like that. So the playback's really great on it because you can play through, have the song playing while you're recording and it's still only recording what you're playing into your uh, computer. And it's very easy to use because I am not good at a lot of that you know, type of stuff with like figuring all that out. It's a lot, it's complicated guys. So something that's super easy to just plug in and play is great for me. Um, and I love that. So it sounds great for bass, sounds great for guitar, um, electric and acoustic. I've also plugged my electric drums to there because I still haven't been able to figure out how to plug my drums into my into GarageBand, it's just like, I can't get it to sound right, it's just not working, so I have figured out to make it sound somewhat, eh, okay, at least, you know, fine enough for like a de for demo stuff, I'm not, I'm not a good drummer at all, I can barely play, so just kind of just making ideas and stuff, I plug it in through here, and then plug this into um, GarageBand, which is what I'm using, uh, so, um, in that case, uh, it, you know, works pretty good. Uh, this is an, I don't know if I'm saying, Alesis. Um, it's a nitro drum, electric drum set, which you'll take a look there. Did I just unplug things? Oh, no. Okay, we're good. All right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's a pretty standard uh, electric kit. I mean, I'm, I'm not looking to, you know play great drums and stuff. I'm just going to do some like demo stuff and play some stuff out, things like that, or mess around and pretend that I'm, I know how to play. Cause when you play on electric drums, you're like, wow, I sound really good. And then you go play a real drum set and you're like, okay, now let's stop there. Um, behind there is a, uh, PV Marvel, uh, Iron Man guitar. Um, got it in a set of three. I also have
great uh, Guardians of the Galaxy one that came with it. And there was also a Captain America guitar that um, we had uh, gave, given away on a stage in. So that is one of them. And the Guardians of the Galaxy one is in the, uh, in the, in the case right now. Because there's too many things out right now. Let's talk about getting you an interface. I guess there's so many things. There's so many. There's so many things, guys. Um, I feel like I had some other type of interface thing I haven't used yet. Um, see if I could get things without breaking things right now. I guess I could also go through some of like my notebooks and things that I have here. I do have a. That's gone. Um, a Jack Knife's little like binder with all of our stuff in it. And then I have a bunch of other music notebooks and stuff. This has been also our like kind of quarantine game night notebook. So this this includes all of the like drawings and stuff we've done for any of our games that we've done uh, throughout this whole whole time. So I don't know if I'm going to like give this away or some if someone's interested in this let me know um and then if i'm stuck i've been using this song starter book and it's uh yeah just random sometimes it helps sometimes it doesn't but you know you see what happens okay what else do i got i do also underneath here have like you know a my first crate amp you know, a little guy, but I literally haven't touched it because this Yamaha amp has been working pretty amazing, so I haven't used it. Um, okay. Cold brew time. Does everyone like coffee? What's everyone What's everyone up to? Let me know in the chat. And if you're watching on the replay, let me know in the comments. Do you have any of this gear? Do you, do you have any suggestions? Um, I have a nice little uh, music stand here that folds up pretty nice. Uh, there's a yoga mat there. Don't know. <laughs> I try sometimes. <laughs> um, any other type of gear you guys want to know about or have questions about? I got more stuff to show you anyway. Uh, let's see. I have a bin of picks, which I do want to do a whole, like, guitar pick. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> where's Bruce? I don't know where Bruce is. Bruce? I think he's in the back cave. <laughs> uh, I have some capos here. So this is the first, this is a shark capo. Uh, the only problem with this one is it's very heavy. Um, on your guitar, like I could this. This is a weapon. This is totally a weapon. Um, and then I think Mel just got this for me, which is a new version of the Shark Capo, and it actually says lighter, tighter, more stable, and more safety. Um, so clearly that's a weapon. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. What will my next guitar purchase be? Oh man, I don't know. I've been looking, you know, we've been going to NAMM for a while, and I really love the, uh, I hope I don't butcher it, the Ballad Gear guys. Um, they're very expensive guitars, but they're very amazing. I really love them. So that's probably my next, like, big guitar purchase, which I haven't gotten, like, a big guitar purchase in a while. This is probably the, my acoustic Yamaha is probably my latest guitar purchase. And this is my one and only bass purchase, really. So... Um, yeah. What else? This was from Roxy. Because I wanted a MIDI keyboard. I don't know if this is even a MIDI keyboard. It's a M Audio Keyrig 49. It's really not that big. I know it looks big in the camera, but it's really not. Um, I literally, I've been playing it like, like this. <laughs> on my on my knees. Yes, it's a mini keyboard. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, so this also worked pretty easy. I just it plugs directly into my computer, works on GarageBand somehow. So when things do that, they are for me. 
I love things that just plug in and work without anything else to do. So this is a, uh, so thank you, uh, Roxy and, and the Instrumental ASMR Club for getting me this. Um, with this on GarageBand, it already has like tons of sounds and weird things to make noises and like the regular piano sound sounds fine. Like I'm not doing anything crazy here. I just want stuff to like mess around, make some demos and things like that. So um, for that, this is, this is great. So thank you guys for this. Um, I got a bunch of drumsticks back here. Let's see if I can get down to the ones that I've been using to play with. Oh, hold on. We're getting there. Um, I've been using these purple ones. With I don't know what they are. Let's see. Hot sticks. Solid Hickory 5B. I don't know where I got them. They've come in my possession. And now, um, now, yeah, that's it. Oh, my paddle collection. I haven't yet. Um... I think that was going to be for a, uh, a whole other video. Everything's falling. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Um, I have a few boxes of my SIT sh strings. I have a few of those. Um, I have my, my bullet cable, which is... A spark plug cable that no longer exists. <laughs> um, I got this cable. Actually, I think I got it when I bought my um, my Tim Armstrong guitar. I think it came with it. And I I've had this for so long. I love this cable. So I actually brought it to Nam with me and found the bullet cable, guys. And I was like, and they saw it coming out of the <laughs> coming out of my bag, and they were like, Oh my god, where'd you get that? And I was like. I love this cable. I want more. I want to buy more. And they said, we don't make them anymore. I said, well, but they said they thought they had one left in their factory. And so when I got back from Nam, um, they sent me like their last red one. Um, and they said they're keeping their other one as a prototype to see if they'll ever uh, make them again. But I love this, love this cable. And uh, it's lasted me a long time. So I got another one, which hopefully will last me a lot longer, but um, the bullet cable guys, if their one cable works great, I'm sure all of their other ones, I'd like to try out their other stuff um, soon too. Uh, so thank you guys for, for this. Let's see, what else? I got some other fun, like random stuff in here. Uh, this is dry and glide that you put on your hands to keep them dry in case you get into a uh, sweaty and stuff. I could do some of my pedal collection. I could just do not an in-depth one, but just show you <laughs> a quick rundown. Okay. This is my pedal board case. I keep in a pedal train case. Um, I have the Nano. I like everything little and compact that is my size what happened here oh everything's everything's falling apart guys you know i'm surprised the stream's even working right now because <laughs> that's how things are working today uh so, oh, okay so this is the nano plus um i have four pedals on it right now which is the e8 all all electro harmonics check them out um, I have the East River Drive, which I use for um, my solos. Um, I'm using the Canyon for a delay reverb. The Pitchfork, which is my absolute favorite pedal. Um, it just makes your guitar sound so, like, dirty and grimy and full and big and lovely. <laughs> um, so, and they just came out with a Pitchfork Plus, which I'm hoping to try out soon. Um, I think it should fit on here. I just got to do some maneuvering, but I think if I squeeze this over a little bit, squeeze this. Oh, yeah, I think it would fit here. Um, and then I have my Shure uh, 
pedal, which is also my receiver for my, um, this is my wireless. Um, it's also a tuner. So that's really all I got on here for as far as like live shows and things like that. And then my power source is a is the pedal train Volto. Um, so everything is wireless. I do um, actually this is that's like my backup because while at Nam, because I haven't gotten this fixed yet because you know after Nam we kind of had one show and then that was it for us. Um, the input jack fell into my Volto. So I had contacted them. They said they would fix it for me, but I just haven't sent it to them because, you know, stuff that's going on right now. Um, so that's a quick rundown of my uh, pedal board right now. That's kind of messy. I got to redo it. So I was re-putting pedals on here. Um, so, yeah, I do have other pedals, though. Um, let's see. Is there any other stuff you guys want to you wanna see or anything? I showed you my, uh, my wire basket, which is out of control. My wire and adapter basket. And also everything's mostly black and red in here as, as well. As it should be, guys. Uh, let's see. Let me put this. That's on the couch in the living room. Now there's volume going Number on. Of see? Weekly coronavirus cases uh oh, in we Europe don't want that. Eight hundred thousand last week, higher than Shh. during the first peak in March. The organization's European director. This is what happens when you live in small quarters, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, I do have some other pedals here. This isn't all of my pedals. Um, I got a Blues River Drive. My EHX silencer. Shh. Um, is there anything else in here? This is more cables in here. Um, EHX guitar strap. And I believe there might be, I think this is my, that's just a, a box with a power supply in it. <laughs> How's everyone doing? <laughs> is everyone else's 2020 going this way? It's a mess. Oh. Now I gotta fix my corner. I always get put in the corner. I gotta clean the corner too. It's crazy. Oh boy, there's stuff everywhere. Um, I do have another basket over here just filled with um, strings and batteries and Bruce barking. Why are you barking? Shh. Oh, because it's like a high pitched freak light. You want to come here? You want to say hi? Come here. Come on. Oh, wow. He's actually come. He hasn't like come and say hi at all, like this whole time. I know, because it's starting to get cooler out. Hi. <laughs> when it's like warm out, he doesn't want anything to do with me. Right? You want to come up and say hi? Okay. <laughs> I think you're getting too big for this. I'm sitting on a drum seat. <laughs> All right, here's Bruce. Everyone say hi to Bruce. Bruce is not helpful in the writing corner at all, right? No. Does anyone have questions for Bruce? <laughs> Bruce has also started his own clothing line at frenchtintees.com. You can check his, his face out on some merch because <laughs> he needs to buy his own treats now and start paying rent, right? He's like, yeah, they're making me pay rent, guys. And uh, that's about, that's about it, guys. Everyone, anyone have any questions, comments, concerns? <laughs> that's my, uh, my little studio, my studio tour. Does Bruce want to go fight crime late? Like, you want to go fight crime? You want to fight crime? He seems very interested. Are you Batman? No? Sometimes. <laughs> uh, well, if uh, 
That might be it, guys. But that's my uh, my little uh, fun rig corner rundown. And Bruce, you're getting heavy, bud. I think you got your, like, quarantine 15 on. Huh? You ate too many treats and sat around? He's a mush. You are a mush. Sorry, you're just going <laughs> to... Just going to sit here, hang out. That's what you want to do the rest of this stream? Yeah? Yeah, I know it's almost dinner time, but, you know, you got to do something. You done? Okay. All right, this is a goodbye from Bruce Wayne. He's going to have, you want to have dinner soon? You know what dinner is? Yeah? Okay. All right. Bye from Bruce. <laughs> Now, this hair everywhere. Luckily, um, he does not eat any cables or guitar picks or anything on the floor that is not food. So that is a very great thing. Um, Matt said he's feeling better. So we're glad. Good job, Matt. We're glad you're feeling better, too. Hope everyone is feeling awesome and uh, staying healthy and safe and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah. I don't know why I feel like I'm out of breath right now. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, if you have any other uh, questions, let me know, or I'll, uh, I'll sign off on here soon. Um, I am going to be watching the, uh, um, our friends in Rebel 9 are doing a listening party tonight, because they are, uh, releasing their new album out on, uh, it's going to be on Facebook on the um new to you facebook page um we posted it in our streams and stuff like that so we'll be doing a uh um a listening party and you can pre-order their album on rebel9.com um which is a pretty cool way to release your album during this time so if you can go and uh say hey to them um that would be awesome so i'm going to be doing that eight o'clock um and what else I don't know. Oh, someone asked about the shark capo. Um, let me take this one out, too. I think this one's a different color. I haven't played with this one yet. I do have normal capos, too, but it's not a normal um, thing I play with a lot. This one is a lot heavier than this guy over here. Yeah, this one's more of a uh, silver-ish, and I got a gold one here. This is like, this is totally a weapon. This could like hurt someone. Um, and it's very heavy to put on your guitar. Um, so, yeah. I don't think it had, I think someone asked if it had to do with Sharknado, but I don't think, I think this came out before that because I've had, I've had this one for a while. <laughs> Gotta have everything sharks, guys. Everything sharks. Um, if you haven't yet, if you subscribe to our channel, that would be super awesome. Um, we really appreciate it. We're trying to hit hit the 1,000 mark. And you have that same keyboard for movie stuff. It's cool. So is this one back here? Nice. I know I always find, like, um, another, like, cool exercise I like to do is, like, put a movie on and make your own background noises and make your own soundtrack, which is like a fun, it's a hard exercise, but it's like really cool to kind of do that. Um, if you mute, um, mute the TV and just try to make your own movie soundtrack. <laughs> um, that's always fun. How is everyone drinking coffee today? Oh, it's seven o'clock. I probably shouldn't be drinking coffee now, right? Um, what else? Do I have any other things? I have a few more adapters here. Another headphone to double headphone. I have some more headphone audio adapters. I have a nice jackknife stiletto mug here. You can get on jackknifestiletto.com slash store along with other fun stuff. Um, a bunch of my bag of guitar picks from Intune. Guitar picks by uh, WB, WB Gear, which is where I also get my my strings from. Um, this is a guitar spoon. I don't know why this is here. And 
Oh, some more picks from from Dunlop. They sent us a bunch of stuff. How many pens do I have? Oh, there's one Sharpie in here. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I have this thing. I feel like this is going to fall. But up here, um, I have a bunch of pens. I have guitar. The, you know, the useful guitar string tuner um, winder. And uh, when you want to change your strings, your this little tool here, which is very handy because it cuts the strings. And um, this is also for your acoustic guitar to get the pegs out. Why would you not have a guitar spoon? I don't know why don't you guys have a guitar spoon is what the real question is here, guys. Are you missing a guitar spoon? I feel like I had a few of those, so now I feel like the set... I don't know, it disappeared. I have no idea. I don't know where they came from. Um, here's like another, some more adapters. I just got like, you know, when all this happened, when, you know, we all got in the quarantine, I ordered a bunch of adapters because things wouldn't go in certain things. So got a bunch of these different um, things because you never know what you're, I didn't know what worked with what. And then you run out of inputs and stuff like that. So um, it's useful to have all this stuff anyway. So in a way, I'm kind of glad that, you know, I got all this stuff. So yeah. Um, that's actually a, uh, I think it's like a makeup holder thing, but I use it for guitar stuff. Makes sense, you know? Try and think if I have any other things to show you. Anything else? Any questions about any other stuff? This is a Jackknife Stiletto tote bag available on jackknifestiletto.com slash store. You can get lots of stuff on here. Um, I have a lot of Jaws paintings in the background. <laughs> What's that the left of the keyboard, my left? Um, I think you mean the electric drum set? Um, so that is my electric kit, which I, um, did go through a little bit, um, earlier in the video, um, uh, but it's a, an Alesis Nitro, uh, electric kit. Um, it works pretty good. I don't know all the ins and outs of it because I'm not a drummer. Um, I just use it to, like, kind of mess around and make, you know, I don't know, easy demos and stuff like that, and I haven't figured out how to get it working directly into GarageBand, but I put it through my... Uh, my Yamaha amp here, and that goes into GarageBand pretty, pretty easy. So that this this little guy has been great. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, I think that's what we were asking about. But I also went through this, so hopefully that answered your other question. This was my lovely coffee uh, coffee cup with Wonder Woman. I love Wonder Woman. I uh, got some post-its. Okay. I do have a bunch of notebooks everywhere because you never know what you want to write down when. It's a nice little Jaws um, quilted thing. Plug my Etsy. Okay. This is... <laughs> I've been doing a lot of acrylic pouring. Um, so I have an Etsy shop, which is Etsy.com slash shop slash... Andy Stoic. Um, this is one of the uh, pours I've done. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's somewhat easy to do. Um, it's very messy. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I'll be putting some new stuff up this week. It just wasn't nice out today. And right when I went to take pictures, it started raining. So it was just one of, one of them days when nothing was working. <laughs> and I uh, just needed to why are you crying? Stop, Bruce. Um, I did paint this as well. This is a Batman with a shark propellant with a shark. That is not on my Etsy store. Um, most of my acrylic pour um, things are on there. This is one of my new ones I just did. Some weird fun stuff um, that's got to dry. 
they do take a while to dry, so that's why it take, takes a little while to get them up on there. <laughs> um, yeah, these I did not do. I'm not. I forget what the who the artist is, but um, I got them at the um, Heroes and Villains Fan Fest when we're allowed to go to like Comic Cons, you know those things. Um, but that's you know Arrow and Flash, but the actual like actors playing them because I like them and the Joker. Got a lot of Jaws stuff. Um, this is actual like film pictures, like actual film. Um, from the movie, and it's signed by by everyone in the in the Jaws movie. You know, I'm a Jaws nerd. If you didn't know, you know. <laughs> um, yes, Wonder Woman, Batman, Arrow, Flash, Joker, Jaws. Yeah, that's pretty much pretty much everything. I do have a huge Wonder Woman poster too over there. I got a bunch. Of, wait, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Um, and if you didn't see my, uh, my bat base here, which is a, uh, a short scale one, which is pretty great. Um, I'm trying to think what else I have here, but I don't really have room to take out more stuff. Um, I'll probably do like a full, um, video of, um, my pedal, pedals collection, I guess, my guitar collection I need to do. Um, if there's any other type of videos you want to see from us, let us know what type of gear you want to see that we use and things like that. Let let us know in the comments. Um, let me know here in the chat. Or you can send us messages, whatever you want to see. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff on our YouTube channel already um, that you can check out. Gear videos, live videos, random vlog videos of us you know, out and about doing things. Um, we filmed a bunch of stuff the other day. Um, we filmed us putting things in a box and us feeling around and sort of see what's, what's in the box, that challenge, which was pretty funny. Um, we did like a most likely video and also a uh, like a lightning round um, who's in the hot seat type of video. So we have that stuff coming out soon. Um, and yeah, we have our live streams on Mondays and game nights on Wednesdays on Facebook. We might be moving some stuff um, over to, over here on YouTube, but um, anything you guys want to see, um, if you want to check out um, our website, jackknifesletto.com, um, in the tour section, all of our live streams and where we are going to be doing them will always be on there. So that is where you'll get the, uh, the info on there and sign up on a mailing list, you know, fun stuff. It's all this stuff, guys. <laughs> ah. All right, well, I think that uh, might be about it. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you've got more than one Gmail account, you could subscribe twice. <laughs> um, we're just trying to get up to our, you know, our thousand followers. Um, oh, Gear Show and Tell. That's a good, um, that's a good title. I do like that. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Uh, <laughs> Well, all right. Well, I think I'm going to sign off on here, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, hope you're all uh, staying safe and healthy. We miss you guys. We miss playing out and about. Um, hopefully we can see you all soon. And uh, we'll see you next time. Right? All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>